G'day guys, Cam Wild Wild Touring. This series is gonna be a ripper. He's got it, he's got it. But before we get to all that, we've got to air down. We've still got about 100 k's or so uh, of crappy corrugated road that's just about to start. And I've got to do what feels like probably the world's longest buddy bakery run. I'll tell you more about that in a sec. Let's get on the road. Yeah, I might go a touch lower. That's, uh, that sand hill's got me shit myself. Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. So I've met Brad seven or eight hundred k's north of home we've left pretty bloody early this morning about three o'clock and um we're heading into the shark bay area to steep point there's a campground there called shelter bay which is beautiful we're going to stay out there for about a week on the way home from there on the same stretch of coast there is a patch of land that's owned privately or, or managed privately by a mine site uh, and it's called the useless loop mine or shark bay salt i think it goes by as well and it's just that it's a salt mine and it's a super super remote little mining community out there and a fella that lives and works out there luke has invited uh, me and the boys there's a couple of lads are gonna that are gonna join us to come out and, and have a look at this stretch of coast that he's got access to so that was really cool of him now i couldn't go up there empty-handed it's a bit like the cabri favorites ad you can't rock up to a party without something so I, uh, I said, what can I get for you? And he said, I want fresh buns. He said, we, all our bread and all our buns and stuff are frozen. He said, if you're leaving in the morning, can you go to the bakery in town and pick me up some, some fresh buns? So we're doing, by the end of the day, it's gonna be about a thousand Ks all up to, uh, to run Luke some fresh buns in. And that's gonna get us access to some pristine coastline. Anyway, I've got about a hundred Ks before I meet Luke, uh, the turn off to the mine site that he's working on and uh, we'll drop these buns off to him and then we'll get to camp and set up. Should be good. Oh, what a gentleman, really nice bloke. And he's brought us a little bit of, um, this stuff's like world renowned apparently, the shark bay salt. So we've got a bit there for while we're up here. <laughs> it definitely felt like a drug deal while I'm handing over my suitcase of bread rolls and picking up some crystallized substance but anyway right we've got about 50 k's to get into camp we're going to catch up with Luke later on in the week he's thinking um, the weather's looking good in a couple of days so he might even pick us up off the beach and take us out deep sea fishing um, which would be awesome but for now 50 more k's of corrugations couple of sand dunes a little bit of beach driving and Brad's got his uh, camper trailer in tow so we'll see how we go we should be fine um, but we're pretty keen to get to camp and, and, and dig in set up Let's do it. I've got a lot of weight on the back. I'm bouncing up and down, so it's hard to get traction. And Brad's got a trailer in tow, so... Ooh. Well done, mate. That was a bit of fun. Do you know what? That, uh, that kept me awake last night. I didn't sleep thinking that I oh, wasn't going to get up that really? hill. How'd that one feel? Fine. Yeah, you yeah, look fine, yeah, actually. It's fine. It's amazing what tyre pressure does, isn't it? Absolutely. All right, let's do it, mate. That's let's it. Go. It's all smooth That's sailing it. now. Go. Well, there's one more hill. I didn't realise. I thought we'd done them all. This is the last hill, the hardest one. And I've struggled getting up it. I've just managed to get up. I'll probably need to drop a bit more air out of my tyres. I'm hesitant to do that though because I've got a lot of weight on the back. Um, but Brad got halfway up and he's just not making it and he can't go any lower on pressure. He's already at 12 pound. 
with a fair bit of weight in the back and the trailer on, so we don't really want to go any lower. So he's going to have another crack at it with a bit of a run-up. He's got it! He's got it! Woohoo! Trailer's getting a bit of air! Well done, mate. That was a spirited drive. So I'm down, I ended up going down to 12 now, so... Oh yeah, you probably need some air in that back one, eh? Yeah, I, um... What do you reckon? And I've lost a, a shackle. Oh, from the corrugations? Yeah, so I've got a spare one in the car somewhere, but I'll just whack the cable tie through it for the moment. Yeah. Are you going to bang more air in or wait till we get to camp? Mate, I don't think we're that far from camp. All right. As long as we don't go too silly, I'll see what we come across. Do for the moment. Is there water stored in here? Yeah, there is. Yeah, there's not much I can do about it, mate. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's right. That's what that was for. Yeah. Cool. Let's go. Right. Oh, pretty sure that's the last one. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one I've seen on videos. Yeah. <laughs> We've had enough of hills. <laughs> How good is it, mate? We can just spot shark after shark in the shallows. Such a special place, Shark Bay. Just like the water's alive with dolphins and dugongs and fish and sea turtles and sharks. I don't know, it's special. We're obviously going to make Gary go by himself, right? <laughs> she looks a little bit soft. Do you want to have a quick look first before we get bogged? Yeah, why not? <laughs> oh, it's not soft. Just wanted to suss out where we're going. So we have got that campsite and this campsite. Gary's rocked up. You've always known Gary as grumpy Gary, but we're starting to think he might be unreliable Gary because he's always late. <laughs> Gary's here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, tell you what, it was like um, a roller coaster ride. Could the corrugations are bad, eh? Oh, God, it was crazy. Yeah, you should have yeah. seen um, Brad trying yeah, to get up the hills trailer. with the trailer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was pretty hectic. There was a guy in front of me, he had a, um, like a John Pappas, just a like, regular trailer. Yeah, he has to pull over him, yeah. yeah. I don't know if he snaps him. Oh, no. Yeah, but. Part one through. <laughs> set up that was basically the afternoon doing that i've had a bit of a flick while the sun's setting but pretty low key tonight i think brad's on dinner duties and i think he's um you baked a big lasagna hey i can't even take credit oh tremaine yeah. baked it for you yeah she's good yeah she did my job for me so i think this is it cheers boys yeah cheers no fires up here, unfortunately, so we've got faux fires. A couple of um, citronella candles burning for a bit of ambiance. That looks amazing, mate. Mm, I've done good. 
you done real good. There's some serious slabs somewhere, and I approve. It was good. Yeah, lovely. It is nice. That's a good start. Absolutely. Oh, cool, Tom. What have we got? Swimming under, Swimming under the boat. Oh, it's another nice one, mate. Oh, your oh that's beautiful. Nice, eh? Cool little fish. Yeah. We've got um, one one size um, spotted mackerel, which I don't know what they're like to eat, but if it's shallow fried, it's going to be delicious, I'm sure. So I'm going to go back and sort some lunch out. But we've sussed out a spot. We just need to get a bit better prepared. Yeah. yeah. Well, anyway, Gary's waiting for us on the shore, and it's lunchtime. Well, that was a good little session. We've sussed out a couple of spots that we're going to fish harder later, the Savo, and we've managed to get that one um, spotted mackerel for lunch. So I filleted him up and we'll cook him in a minute, but I'll just quickly show you. Whoa, did you see that jump? Massive shark. I'm going to have to get the drone up. Massive shark, man. Yeah, I'm going swimming. Brad's going for a swim. There's a huge shark out the front. Anyway, I'll quickly show you camp and then we'll cook some lunch up and then. We'll get back out fishing and see if we can get a few fish for dinner. So this is the setup. We're staying at, um, this is Blackies. We've got Blackies one and two. Uh, we're gonna have two cars on each side. So I'm in the swag. Got the ute set up there with um, Starlink on top. So we're able to make voice over IP phone calls and video calls back to the family. Cause we're gonna be out here for a couple of weeks or on this coast anyway, for a couple of weeks. Haven't bothered putting my awning out because I want to keep the car um, mobile because there's a few points of interest we want to drive out and have a look at. But Brad's bought his camper and he's got all the awnings and the gazebo and stuff out so there's plenty of shade there anyway. Actually, that's been really good. So there we go. Uh, gazebo out. Cub camper. It, didn't we? It started getting a bit hot. Definitely needed it. Mm. Yeah, it's, we left home, it was four degrees. <laughs> got up here and it was over 30, so it was a bit of a shock. Mm. It's starting to sweat. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, Brad's got the, the cub set up. Now we're all gonna, um, we've kind of pulled um, meals meals and, and uh, camping equipment and stuff, so. Gary brought a pack of wraps. Yeah. I got one pack. Yeah, three yeah. kilos of bacon, one pack of wraps, so. <laughs> I don't know, we'll, yeah. we'll figure the maths out on that. <laughs> Oh no, because Brad bought five packs of wraps. Yeah, but you didn't know he was going to. No, he told me. Oh, I did brought, he? I brought five packs of wraps because I knew Gary was bringing and one, one kilo pack of wraps. Yeah. So you basically account for the lowest denominator. That's, yeah, four Which wraps Gary. a day. Yeah. And that's just for lunch. So we're going to be cooking on um, the cub most of the time. Brad, you brought three cooking things now. How many tables? Because, because. Yeah. Yeah. Five tables. I, I heard what you just said there, but we won't cook on the cub most of the time. Oh, okay. We'll, um, We'll cook fish on that because then it doesn't stink. Oh, okay. And we'll cook everything else on that. So. Yeah. So I didn't even bother bringing the um, air fryer or anything. I'm just going to use the, the Weber like an oven for a couple of things. Uh, Deep fry on that. And then Gazza, you're set up over on the other side. You yeah. got the same swag as me. Yeah. yeah. That's all good over there. Yeah. Quite happy. No snoring. No. So nice and peaceful at night time. Yeah. Waiting for Duffy to turn up. Yeah. So Duffy's, Duffy's coming and he's a couple of days behind us. And he's um, 
just as well because we've already sent him like a huge shopping <laughs> list of everything we're running low on. What, one rod? Yeah, we've already snapped a rod, used half a kilo of bait in about an hour, <laughs> and I'm running out of milk already. It's <laughs> but if there's any one. consolation, oh. we're having fish wraps for lunch. Yeah, so. we're doing all right. That, that oh, was so an expensive fish wrap, but that's yeah. all right. A <laughs> life jacket. Yeah. All right, anyway, I'm going to bang lunch on. Um, as I was getting everything out, Gary said, you got to use your shark bay salt. So I'll fill up the um, salt shaker, we'll make some fish wraps, and then we'll get back out there. Oh. Lovely. Thank you. Welcome. Spotted mackerel was pretty good. I don't think it's regarded as much of a table fish, but panko crumbed and shallow fried, I thought it was pretty good. I think the boys agreed, eh? Definitely yeah. filled that hole, didn't it? Yeah. Anyway, we've had a couple of beers and we're re-energized and conditions are flattened right off. So Brad and I are gonna go out Similar sort of spot, I think, where we've seen a few fish on the sounder, and we'll see if we can get something for dinner. So we'll troll on the way back out there, bottom bounce with some bait, and then troll back home and see how we get on. Let's do it, Bradley. Let's go. Can't get over how clear it is, it's amazing. It's like an aquarium. If there weren't so many sharks, I'd go snorkeling out here. Yeah, we've seen some massive tail slaps out here. Some big sharks hanging around. Apparently there's a resident... You heard bull shark, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Oh, I heard tiger, but I think it's clear there's a resident shark of some sort. <laughs> Probably pretty well fed. Yeah, I think I'll be safe. Brad, this is amazing, man. This is incredible. Right, we're going out that way. We've lost a few rigs and this is the first good fish we've got near the top. We think it's a good fish. Oh, there's a whole school of them. What are they? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Excuse me, excuse my language. Ah. Is this why we're losing rigs? <laughs> this is why we're losing rigs. Good luck getting that off, mate. Just trolling back in and Brad's hooked up. I wonder if I bring my line in. Nah, you're right, it's right out of your way. All right. It's right here. Oh. We don't have a gaff in the boat. Do you want me to get? Yeah, if you can. Hey, do you want snapper. To... Oh, really? Come on. Gabble, gabble, gabble. Whoa. Yeah. Hey. Well done, mate. That's a beauty. Woo. Well yeah. done, mate. That went um, 60, oh, just over, oh, around 60 centimetres on the troll. On the troll. Well done, mate. <laughs> I think that's dinner sorted. We're a little disheartened because we hadn't done that well this session. And then that one. The drive home. Well done, mate. Right. Brad's just hooked up again. We're still not back home yet. If it's another pinky, I'm going to be jealous. Is it fighting like the last one? Um, there's not much to it. It's a bit of weight to it, but it's not fighting. What do you got? Mackerel? Mackie. Nice. Oh, shit. Yeah, he's going to take another run, bro. He's not done. Careful, careful, careful. Nice. Get him in, get him in. Nice. Good fun. Yeah, well done, Good mate. fun. Should see how we did, Gas. I'll let Brad show you. Where are they? Um, I've come back with two whole rods. I can't be disappointed. Oh, okay. Any fish, though? Have a look. Well, where am I looking? Oh, oh, what's that? Pink snapper? Pink snapper. Oh, oh, the mackerel. Oh, bloody hell. How good is that, man? On the trawl, both of them on the trawl on the way snapper. back. Oh, shit. That's a good snapper, right? That's eh? a good snapper, mate. How big is he? 60, 60 something? something. Oh, yeah. I was looking before, it's going to be 500, huh? Between 50 and 70 in Shark Bay, because oh, they're breeders. Yeah, right, wow. So, so perfect nailed size. It. Actually, he nailed us. He did. Him. Now, uh, Brad got both of them today. Oh, good on you. Guys, I want to know what you think of doing for tea. Um, we're thinking your dinner tonight. Oh, you're going to do the fish? Yeah, well, the yeah we might as well, mate. Um, what are you going to do? No, you're going to do it. The lemon, um, lemon Oh, that, okay, yeah, yeah. Don't you yeah, reckon yeah. that's a good fish for it? 
you might spoil the fish. You wouldn't want to add anything to that fish. That's perfect. Well, I reckon lemon it. butter is, is subtle yeah. enough. Yeah, okay, that's yeah, nice we'll and subtle. Like I said to Cam, it'd be nice just to have a nice fresh salad. Yeah, okay. I've got, got potatoes, potato squares, eh? I've got that, um, you want, we're thinking we'll use the rest of that coleslaw. Oh, yeah, either. Because it's going to go off in a day. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Might as well make the most of it. All right, yeah. let's stop talking about it. We'll drag the boat out and uh, we'll get cleaned up. I'll show you my um, my shower. We're going to have a hot shower tonight. I've got a new thing to show you. Um, and the boys are going to sort tea out. Should be good. Couple of beers, sunset behind us, hopefully. Should be good. Yeah, yeah. Been meaning to use this for a while and this is the perfect trick so the idea is you stand in a sump in the bottom of the shower and it recirculates the water so i can effectively have like a 20 minute shower on five liters of water first time using it let's see how we go Gonna warm a couple of litres of water in the kettle to stick in the bottom on the stove and then I'll top it up to five litres and stick it in the sump and see how we go. Looks good. So Gaz is cooking for us and he's he's pretty nervous about it. He um he reckons the snapper is too special a fish to stuff up. So there's a bit of pressure on him. Oh, oh so this is your lemon butter you yeah. made. So look at that. Oh, that's going on with that. Separated a bit, yeah. um, but it'll be fine once it heats up. So what's in there, man? Lemon Lemon salt. rind. Yep. Lemon juice. Yep. Um, pepper. Salt, butter, um, that's it. Right. And I did have some lemon salt at home that I just threw in because it was like the end. Beautiful. So. And what are you thinking? Just sort of spoon it on top as you're cooking? I'm frightened, that's what I'm thinking. No, don't worry about it. You can't go wrong, mate. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. We didn't want to do too much to the, um, to the snapper because you know, like, we're probably not going to catch too many great fish. <laughs> oh, no, no. It was our first day and we did. So yeah, true, true, true. I shouldn't talk us down. So this could be the best fish we catch yeah, this yeah, trip, yeah. you know? That's true. So we want to do it justice. So we didn't yeah. want to, do, we didn't want to um, no. shallow fry it and crumb it. and Because anything tastes good shallow fried. We want to actually taste the snapper. Yeah. So butter, just a little hint of subtle lemon. Should be beautiful. And for sides, salad's the first thing to go, so... We might as well use that. And that mackerel, um, the mackerel that Brad got on the way back in just after the snapper, we filleted that and I'm gonna put that in a curry tomorrow night. That'll be nice. Doing like a, um, a korma. Uh, it was gonna be a chicken korma, but we got the fish, so I'll use that. Yeah, we just move into the induction cooker because um, the wind was affecting the other one a little bit. This is where induction is, is really good. I'm a little bit hesitant to want to right use away, it so much use it too much because um, we're stationary for 10 days so I'm not going to be able to drive, I'm just relying on solar and Starlink uses quite a bit of power but um, we, we needed it tonight because the wind's just too much for the gas. <laughs> Melt in your mouth already, eh? Beautiful. I just hope it's nice. Beautiful, man. Look, it's amazing. Done really well, mate. Pull that one out. Is that one cool? Chuck it off. Oh, look at that. That is so good, mate. Well done, Gaff. Gary, you're going to need a new deal. All right, bro. That is pretty freaking amazing. Really good. Yeah, wow. The, um,. Sauce is really nice too, bro. It's just subtle. It's, it's not, not overpowering. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And to be honest, I'm not a massive lemon fan, so no, that is beautiful. It's really nice. Yeah. 